Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Topps Update Series Baseball. 12 box, pick your team, number two. This is Hobby Edition. Big thanks to him. We got Nick Jaspi helping us out. Nick's on the phone with, with FedEx. FedEx. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Come on, FedEx. We're not delivering our stuff. Um, there it is, Friday the 18th. Happy Friday, everybody. King D, last bought Mojo Cubs, and there's everybody else. Thanks for getting into the action. One relic or autograph per box on average. And there's a lot of uh, great rookies and short prints here that makes that makes this set uh, so popular. So this is a long break. Settle in, ladies and gentlemen. And after we finish this, with Nick's help, this should take us... Solo, this would take me an hour and a half. I think with Nick's help, it might take... Uh, might take an hour. All right, so we'll have Nick on this camera right above my head. Helping us out in a minute. All right, they include these in the box now. I guess uh, they used to come separately in previous years. And then like hobby shops, they're, they're not supposed to be like sold, but hobby shops, they're supposed to be a part of update, you know what I mean? But hobby shops are selling them, not us. The other guys. The other guys were selling them and they had to put them inside the thing. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team two. After this, I don't think anything is actually sold out after this. But we've got uh, Immaculate Basketball is finally here. So um, with Immaculate Basketball here, we should, we'll probably be knocking a lot of those out tonight. But those breaks are relatively short, maybe 20, 25 minute breaks. So we would have time to squeeze in like a Phoenix football if you wanted to, another Break King. We've got, I guess there's a team random for Jumbo. It's only seven spots left. We could knock that out too. And, uh, and then Prism Draft Picks Collegiate, which is Zion edition. Remember, the Immaculate Basketball is still last year's draft class Doncic edition. So that's what we have on tap today. All on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, is that right, Nick? I mean, we don't, we're not rats, but tell them that's not, they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so now they can't anymore. Well, yeah, because they're in the boxes now, but. So there's a lot we can do today. I'm sure a bulk of our day will probably be immaculate basketball heavy. But that being said, um, I think we, uh, I think we, those breaks are relatively short, so I think we'll have time to do some other stuff, too. Yeah, we already pulled the Mavericks in that one. All we need to do is four and then eight. Oh, the Mavs are already gone? Yeah. Oh, the Mavs are already gone in pick your team three, so four teams straight up. Mavs are gone in three, four, and five, and oh. then eight, nine, ten. I think they're only left in six and seven. Hmm. So. There you go. That makes life a lot easier. There's $680, so that's, that team's gone, so. All right. Stack one. I know they're a little off camera, but trust me, we're not skimming Matt Stram off the top. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Got Nikki Lopez, 2019. So just in the interest of time, we're going to Kind of breeze through these. I have Jason do the rest of these. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> I gotta rest my my arms here, otherwise. I've got I've got this. You need like a I've got that muscle right right in your shoulder brace. blade between your shoulder brace. blade and your spine. Brace brace. 
I might need a coming, break brace. It's coming with like an arm sleeve. I just need, I know I I just need like I just need someone to come here with a massage table. Deep tissue massage. Yeah, get get some of that deep tissue going here. I should be get, covered get a, by Jaspi Insurance. I think so. Let's get a a sports massage therapist or something like that over here. Whoever takes care of like professional ball door, players. I think. Uh, I mean, but are they are they like sports are they taking stuff. care of LeBron James? You know, but I don't think so. okay, <laughs> I'll check them out. I'll go next door. Oh, sorry, there is veteran Conleys are all the same team to 2019 Steel City Bashers. Yeah, we need that two cameras so we can just both knock it out at the same time. That would be next level stuff. When we're thinking about moving the break table on against the window. I don't know. You can try that. It's a better background view than too. I I do I do like that. If that camera shot out that window right yeah, there. It would shoot it would shoot the entire window. The only problem is mounting the TV, I don't know. You can't mount it on the window. We can just keep it at the end of the table. It's just then it might, like, the camera might show it. Right. And it'd be like, Inception. We'd have to build a stand. A and little put, stand. And, yeah, and then put it right there. The problem is, I think we threw out the legs. I doubt we have the legs. Alright, well. I doubt, I mean, I doubt they're expensive. But. <laughs> I say, I say, what about, what about a... A nice new TV then. Oh. How about that? So it doesn't conflict with the other TV here okay. when I'm trying to turn it off and on. Or change the volume. The 70-inch. <laughs> put the 70-inch yeah. in here? That's pretty funny. So we're going to try to save as much of those rookies as much as possible, the Eloys and the Tatises and the Guerrero Juniors. I'm sure I'm going to miss a few, so... Like, if, especially if it's upside down, upside down like that Peter Alonso. I don't know. Last time I bashed FedEx or bashed UPS, someone gave us a one star on Facebook, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you just got to be like LeBron and Daryl Morey, just not yeah. say anything. Yeah, you got to. You can't. You can't anti, say anti Morey, anti LeBron. We love say, everything. <laughs> I won't say anything about FedEx and how they didn't deliver it. Can't, of, can't offend anybody. Back to back days. I won't say anything like that. And how I. I called customer service and they and they didn't know. What we was love going on. everybody. I wouldn't say that. Can't say that. Jeremy, you ordered a massage table from FedEx. Are you a a certified massage therapist, Jeremy Anderson? There's Will Smith Giants edition out of 2019. And I have no qualms against UPS, but yeah, their UPS plants left us bad Facebook reviews. Damn, no. So I don't know what to do. Can't say anything. And they said, oh, I liked you better under new the old ownership. I don't know what they're talking about. It's a there, nightmare. There was no old ownership. <laughs> so. Uh, well, they're not around anymore. UPS plans. Oh, I thought you said you just ordered a massage table from FedEx. Okay. We should order a massage table from FedEx. But we need, can I, can I order a massage therapist to come along with that too? There's Max Scherzer, all-star relic right there. No Robert Kraft. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. no, not, don't need a Robert Kraft kind of massage. Ooh, that's a short print glad. Yeah, we I, we pulled a number of these. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's not short print then. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's shorter printed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we've seen a number of those rookie debut ones. CC Sabathia. Kind of a rough end to his career. Walked off with an injury. All right, there you go. So it's one relic or autograph per box. So here's a relic. Counts as the one. Let's slide these guys over here. 
Oh, let's do one of these. These are all the cool Mojo refractory ones here. Sometime we've seen one autograph. There's Eloy, that'll ship. Obviously all these will ship. Um, we have seen the autograph in one of those silver packs too. All right, here is the next box right here. I heard about that, I didn't see it, but yeah, I saw Joe Girardi kind of shedding some tears for old CC. Greg Holland, 20 out of 2019. Do you remember it as a Yankee? Joe Girardi? No. Sabathia. Oh, yeah, he's been on a number of teams. He's been in the so. eight years, then the Brewers for one, and then the Yankees for like nine. I guess he won the World Series. So. I, think, I think you're thinking, I think you probably would think Brewers or... I would think Indians. Brewers or Indians. Or I'm sorry, Yankees, Indians is how I would think yeah, of them. Yeah. Brewers, I saw his one hitter in and I saw it at PNC Park. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was borderline no hitter, but he made he made an error. It looked like, but the, oh. the umpire ruled it a hit. And then Bud Seeley reviewed it, and then they ringed it. So I've never seen a no hitter in person. Nor have I. Remember when we, we yeah, passed the on the we passed on the Kershaw yeah. no hitter? I passed on that. You passed <laughs> I on passed that. on that too. It was in the middle of the week. Yeah, it was like a it was like a weird day. It was a weird or, day. No, that was pre. Before? Yeah, that's pre. I think, ja, uh, ja, pre Jaspies. I I was but I had work and I was just yeah. like, it's like I, I don't know. It's, I it's in the know. middle of the week and it's like, like a Tuesday or Wednesday night game. What's, what's gonna happen there? It was against like the Rockies or something like that. Has anyone has anyone seen a no hitter in person? Ooh! Wow. Has anyone seen Fernando Tatis Jr. autographs? Yes. That's nice. At a hobby, that's pretty strong. E A. There you go, Eric. And I would I would I would be scared if this was an eBay break. And the Padres pulled this. I'd, I'd I'd face the wrath of E A. But no. Now I face the happiness of EA. 40 out of 150. Fernando Tatis. Is he in the room right now? If he comes into the room, tell him that we didn't pull him. <laughs> He'll be like, yeah, nothing, boo. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> and then just wait until he gets it in the mail and be like, oh my God. <laughs> you guys are jerks. Why didn't you tell me? No, no one's seen a no hitter. I've been in a rain out in LA. I think I might have seen Kenny Rogers for the game as a baby, but that doesn't really count. That's a, yeah, it doesn't count if you don't remember it. There's John Ryan Murphy, 13 out of 67 for the Diamondbacks. Jim with the Snakes. I saw CC's one hitter. Uh, oh, whatever. Mike Trout, when he hit the cycle, the youngest player ever. I saw that game. Yeah, or maybe just any historic. Has anyone been to, like, saw, like, a cycle live? I've never seen a cycle. I don't think I've gotten close to seeing a cycle live. I've been to a lot of baseball games, too. Look how young Jeff Bagwell looks there. Kind of looks goofy there, too. This Carter Key Boom, save some of those. There's Sergio Romo to 2019. I think we're just. A like if we don't sell a double header, I don't know. We might cancel that one if we don't sell it tonight. Wow. 
That update jumbo is only is much shorter than this first off, and is only like a handful of team random spots away, like a guaranteed team spot away. So you can certainly do that with, uh, especially while we have Nick's help for the time being. If people don't want a macula, we'll just do update today. Yeah. If they don't sell out a macula basketball. Just be update all night long. Just do update or a macula tomorrow, I guess. A few update cases or day would be done. Yeah. <laughs> if we did the night. jumbo and then the double header, we'd be almost done. That'd be like seven o'clock, eight o'clock. We go where the people go. The people want update the rest of the night. That's cool. We'll do update the rest of the night. Pull top T's autos. Right, so we did have an auto. One more of this. Cool. Yeah. There he is again, Cease Jr. Slide the next one over here. Good luck, everybody. Sure, we'll do 16 by 20s. I'm surprised those have, I'm with you, Logan. I'm surprised those haven't sold much more quickly. Do you have any big names in the first one? I mean, they're all big names. Yeah. Like Mike Ditka popped out of there. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that, actually. You smoke um, yeah, no, he was flipping flipping off the camera. Oh, Either right. Javier Baez, yeah. Um, there were a couple. There were two Titans, and that was it was Corey Davis and Derek Henry, I think. And what I forgot what the other one was. There's Whit Merrifield, All Star Game relic. For Corey and the Nats. Or I'm sorry. Scherzer was the first one. Corey got that one. And Royals, the Royals for Brett Myers. I don't know why I was thinking Nationals. Yeah, I guess the red threw me off. Matthew Sellafield, what's up? Sucks Zion missing a month. Man, I was nervous he was going to miss the year. So... In that context, I'm actually pretty happy. Mahomes, too. Zion missed the year, I would have cried. Yeah, Zion missed the year. I mean, I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing, actually. Bad thing? Yeah. I don't know, but if you never see him play, then it's always the same, like, Duke hype for the rest of the year. No, because then people say, oh, you can't stay healthy. And blah, blah, blah. That's true. Probably lose a little weight. Preserve, preserve those knees. Yeah, NFL quarterback injuries this year are brutal. Absolutely brutal. Big Ben, Breeze. Cam Newton, Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph looked like it was a UFC fight. Yeah, that was brutal. Cam Newton. Somehow, Tom Brady magically stays healthy every year. That, except for that one year he shredded his knee With steroids, but then he came back like in week 8 and he was like I'm fine and then probably won a Super Bowl no, he was out that whole year oh was he out that whole year yeah it was Matt Castle and then they were like 11 and 5 and they missed the playoffs ooh like that's the brutal the best team to ever miss the playoffs or 10 and 6 maybe oh is, and that's where everyone's like oh yeah. Tom Brady's system quarterback because yeah. Matt Castle won 11 Castle games won. with that team Tom Brady just game manager yeah that was the year after the perfect season and then we had a good run. They didn't make the Super Bowl for what? Seven years after that? 
Those were the days. I oh, know, they made it in 2012. They didn't make it from 2012 to 20. Yeah, there was a little dark spell. 16. Dry spell for a little bit. But now they're back in the Bron now they're back in the Manning Broncos. In it twice. And then the Ravens. There's a Ravens Seahawks here. Or Ravens Niners. Ravens Niners, yeah. The power went out in the Super Bowl. That's rigged. That was nuts. I mean, like... That was in the Superdome, right? New Orleans? Yeah. You're New telling New me that, that that thing survives, like, the biggest hurricanes yeah. and, like, in a Super Bowl the, the biggest, in, uh, under the perfect conditions. In the whole yeah, world. under perfect conditions. Somehow the power went out. And then the game all of a sudden got really close. Where's the 30 for 30 on that? I know, there isn't. ESPN was in on it. Everyone was in on it. it was, well, it was a blowout. It was, the Ravens were blowing them out, and yeah. then the power went out, and then the Niners came back and almost won. Right. And that that's like that's like pre kneeling Kaepernick, right? Yeah. And so he was about to be poster boy of the NFL if he won the Super it was Bowl. Kaepernick, Harbaugh. Right. And Alden Smith. Mm. And then that team just went straight down. But at least I mean they're good now. So. All right. Well, slide yeah. this over right here. Some shade of the Niners. We're good now, though, so. What? So only 200 feet of teams, Patriots, Niners? I wasn't throwing, I mean, I don't think I was throwing shade of the Niners. I was just saying that the powers that be were trying to rig it. Keep the ratings up. Keep the advertisers happy. All right, next box. This is Hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Hobby, pick your team two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. That's Nick, if you're just joining us. Nick's helping us out on the Nick cam right above my head. Making this break go a little bit faster. I don't know. I mean, I just want to see the 30 for 30 on it, Leonard. Let's get to the bottom of what, of what really happened. I mean, how many employees do you think worked that day in the stadium during state, for stadium operations? Thousands, right? Hundreds? Thousands? A lot. A lot. You can tell me no one's going to talk? Someone's got info. Someone's going to make a book. Someone's got the inside scoop. Yeah, some electrician's going to be like, I was there. When, when OJ made that, when Goodell I, told me, <laughs> OJ made the "If I Did It," <laughs> "If I Did It" book, it'd be like uh, that was the, that that publishing whoever published that book really sold well, their souls. I think souls. they stopped, like they canceled the publication, and then he like revised it. They also made the title, the first cover, yeah, made it, it look like, like "I Did It," yeah. but the "If" was like really small. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, they really sold their souls <laughs> there. It'd be like, <laughs> if I did it, the power counted <laughs> that the super dome. All right, and we've got Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant trade rumors. Is that really going to happen? King D with the Cubs with the Chris Bryant All-Star Game Relic. Last spot mojo. This guy's on the mound tonight. Anyone think the Yankees are going to beat the Astros tonight? That goes to Levi and the Strohs. I have no financial interest in this game tonight, but you got to think the, uh, the Astros will end up just finishing the Yankees off. 
pitching is too good. Yankee starting pitching, just not enough. The bats thus far have been neutralized. <laughs> it's a lot. I said we're, sh we're shipping cases personal for personal next year, not ripping them live. Selling them in the store, probably. Or we just need a second breaker. The two camera setup is not a bad idea for breaks like this. It's just then people will say, oh, I can't watch. What, in this, I, can't, it, I can't follow. In this ADD society, I think people can figure it out. Yeah. People are probably watching two, three different things while they're watching us. True, yeah. they, can they can follow a second camera. I believe in the people. The people can follow a second camera. You guys can follow a second uh, camera. Right? What sports fixes have been true? Ty Cobb. Or not Ty Cobb. Uh, the Black Sox scandal? Yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, Tim they were Don definitely taking money. Tim Donahue, the NBA ref. Yep, yeah, NBA ref definitely taking money. Spygate, the Patriots cheating. Totally cheated. Filming walkthroughs. The plate gate, the Patriots cheating. Totally. <laughs> bounty agree. gate, I guess the bounty gate isn't rigging it. But bounty gate with the Saints. A lot of old, like, there's a lot of old, like, uh, the mob fixing, like, college basketball games is always a big thing from, there's a, there's a number of those stories. They'll fix, like, a St. John's game or something like that. Off the refs. Oh, that, I mean that was never proven. No, I don't. I I honestly don't think they're. I don't know. Wasn't there like a replay? That's what this. That's where Raiders fans. I don't necessarily believe in this, but Tucker was just an unfortunate game for me. But I think there was a review, right? Yeah. The video review. So ra the 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 big theory, the conspiracy theory, is that someone in the booth or like was just like told just to just to, just forget it. <laughs> Yeah, we could do that. One grips packs and one and one opens and just alternate. I was thinking we just both break it at the same time. Cut it in half. Yeah, that's the two camera setup. We're just break we're breaking at the same time. And we're just going through the cards and then we have two microphones. And then we just recap it. We could do like a ten minute recap instead of like a three minute or whatever. Right, let's slide the next one over here. Good luck, everybody. Got to keep my arms on the table here. Preserve my muscles. Kind of like that. What's that? What's that muscle between your shoulder blade and your spine? Tell. Something like that. That's what it is when you're kind of holding up. I gotta work out that muscle. There's Dan Vogelbach going to Aaron Tooley in the Mariners. He's gotta go to the gym and be like, what's that muscle? I need to strengthen that one. People laughing outside at us. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Yaspies? What's a Yaspie? Jaspies. Get out of here. This guys just don't understand. Ooh. A delivery. That UPS guy, very chill. 71 out of 76. Rookie combos for the Giants. Kyle. Oh, yeah? Yeah, our FedEx guy. So we're we're back on UPS now. Yeah. yeah. UPS fans. We were we were on FedEx for a while, but now I'm on Team UPS. My trape maybe it is the trapezius. The traps. Is that a rotator muscle? I didn't do well in my anatomy class. Ronald Acuna Jr. 2019. 
Oh, I think we're getting our orders back now. That's good. Um, I need to go through the ones that you went through. Yeah, I think I went through like I'll up to maybe Nick Esposito, I think. Still four and eight left in the match. I guess oh. people want to just do update today. We're just like we just like watching this update. Eight left in Picker Team Four, straight up. Three left in Phoenix. It looks like Phoenix will be next. What about that jumbo team random? Jumbo team random. Update jumbo? Seven left. Seven left. We can do another update. Tops gold label, five left. Wow. What about the number team random for that one? Sold out. Sold out. Wow. Gold label could be next. That's fun. Gold label, Phoenix, update jumbo. I like those framed autographs. Matt Festa for Kyle. Nope. For Aaron and the Mariners. To 2019. Dude, you know, people waited two months for this immaculate, and it's just now that it's here, they're just like, eh. <laughs> Again, that's, Ooh, that's kinda, a good one, Mike Tower. Once everyone else sells their like, like Tommy John, everyone else will blow their load to say today, right? Right, of their cases, the cases that is. This is a family show, and we'll still have some tomorrow. And we'll probably do a lot. That's what it seems like to me. Payday though, everyone everyone should have gotten paid today. We got paid today. It's Friday. Someone's getting paid. Pay the bills and save a little for the uh, a little for the immaculate basketball. Jaspycasebreaks.com. It's the wrong amount. Freddie Freeman will go to Jacob Hanks. Let's get one of those key booms as well. It's Phil Rizzuto, facsimile autograph. Yeah, go to the doctor and send the doctor's like, oh, that's 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 a Jaspi. You got a Jaspi. You're gonna be in a sling for, for a few weeks. We're gonna to have to sign you to a physical therapist. You got a Jaspi. What's a Jaspi, Doc? Is it serious? Oh yeah. It's like, it's that muscle right in between the shoulder blade and the spine. And the doctor will look at you and be like, son, have you been case breaking? Yeah, Doc. Group breaking. Tell to give it to me straight, Doc. Am I gonna live? Oh yeah, you're gonna live. You're gonna be fine. Thirty-two out of fifty, Justin Verlander. Just have to stretch out that muscle a little bit. Best pull from update so far: Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph. That was pretty good. I'd say that's the best pull from update so far. And probably for the rest of the break. Unless we luck out. There is Masahiro Tanaka. Yankees, that'll be for Charles Byrne. That's the Bronx Bombers. Do you break left-handed or right-handed? I'm not sure what hand I... Well, I keep... Oh, you'll see right here, I can keep the cards kind of in my left hand like a like playing cards. So I kind of keep that back there. So, right, I'm not messing with the corners or edges as much. Or if there's an auto, you know, I'm not smearing the, smearing the auto. There goes the keyboard. So that's how I kind of hold it. And I'm advancing with my thumb here. And then I will be grabbing with my middle finger right there. That's the process. So I guess, is that right-handed? 
Am I right-handed? Am I left-handed? This is this is what this is where the, a lot of, a lot of the cards are being held. You guys know why they call left left-handed pitcher southpaws, right? The way most baseball stadiums are oriented, the, their left arm would be pointing south. Hence, southpaw. <laughs> Correct, Matthew Southfield, or or uh, or top to bottom in some cases. No one of one. Jason Moyer's not impressed with the. Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph. He's like, well, no one of one though. No, no one of one yet. Carlos Santana to That we were 17 cents short. $17. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would have been funny if we were. We already we were $25 short, but now we're. Set, I don't know. It wasn't our fault. This is a supplier. Like, it's like sorry, sir. Your COD is 17 cents short. Well, I don't blame him. No, <laughs> it's just funny. Like it was. Yeah. It's like whatever number they gave us, it was like it was wrong, and they're like yeah. by 17 cents. Like it's like come on, guys. Serious? Yeah, the UPS. For the same for the same thing? Or he's about to come. Oh. It's third time. <laughs> Golden Corral commercial kills me. Hey, so racist. <laughs> racist. All right. Let's do another one of these. I have. I guess we have Jason. Jason Moore was like, "Hey, what was the best thing out of us?" And I was like, "Hey, Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph." Yeah. And a few moments later, he's like, "I know one of one." It's like, "Oh." It's like, oh, "Okay." It's like not impressed, oh, man. And he's like, "Set the bar too high." It's true. I guess we did. Not it's like nice, nice Zion, and it's like, oh, well, is it a after the one of one RPA Zion that we pulled out of Immaculate Collegiate a week or so ago? <laughs> they're like, oh, Zion, but was it a one of one? No, I guess not. There is 2019 rookie combos for the Rangers. That will be for David. Yeah. 
Anyone have any predictions on tonight's game? Score prediction, a winner, home run hitter. Will there be home runs? Over, total, under? That's right, Mike Tower. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Miguel Castro to 2019. Sealed redemption card. Mark, lots of home runs, and you have the, you have uh, some money, some dollar bills, a financial interest in the Yankees hitting the first HR in the game. Yeah, people have. Uh, if you've been following the baseball, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Ver Justin Verlander definitely good, but he's been giving up a lot of sneaky. Uh, a lot of sneaky solo homers this season, which is uncharacteristic for him, but he, he blames the baseball. Uh, baseball is a little different this year, but... But yeah, some solo shots. Right, Mark, Mark's got it, Mark knows. That I did not know. I did not know that it was the third most home runs this year in, the, in, in Major League Baseball. That I did not know. I just knew that he's been giving up HRs at an uncharacteristic rate from what he normally gives up. Blame it on Kate Upton, says Mike Tower. It's Kate's fault. Was that was that in Rocky where 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 it was women awaken the legs? I think that was Rocky, right? The old trainer. And we've got out of twenty five, I felt a heavier cardstock there. Kettle Marte, twenty four out of twenty five. Diamondbacks, he's had a, he had a pretty great season. Maybe a dark horse candidate for for MVP in the NL. Muncie's 99. The back of that feels a little bit different. Not as glossy. That I do know. That I did know. Anibal Sanchez. Stubblefield is saying, Anibal Sanchez, Scherzer, Verlander, Porcello, Fister, Price, all in the Tigers rotation at one time, and then all have been in the World Series the last few years. Hi, Evan. Um, I... No, nothing significant. There may have been some, some rays like rookie cards or something like that, that I passed by, but nothing significant yet for the rays hit wise, like a relic or numbered card or short print or something like that. Do one more of these. Look at that stack, that lonely stack that far away. Let me do that next. All right, so here's another stack that Nick ripped open. We're going to move these. Get these on camera a little bit better. Let's get 
that over here. Slide this stack out there. Out there. So you can see all the stacks right over here. Reach over here and grab these guys. That's another box right there. Pull this camera back around. Let's keep going, folks. So we can probably turn off the Nick cam. Big thanks to Nick for helping us out. Let's slide the rest of these boxes over here. Each stack will represent a box. Let's see another stack coming into the camera right over there. So we're almost done. One, two, three, four, five boxes left. All we gotta do is flip through these cards, and then we are done. Then we'll go through some orders, and then we'll see what we have going on next. Let me rest my arms down here again. Sorry for the, the poor posture on camera, but for this kind of break, comfort trumps everything. Yeah, there's a lot in this hobby. We have a, a jumbo case left. That's far fewer cards if you want to knock out the team random for that, ladies and gentlemen. Only seven left. We may as well knock that out kind of early because we I think we still have Nick Jaspi's help. If we fire fly through that, then we can just open the door for kind of all that immaculate basketball the rest of the way. And some and other stuff. 16 by 20s, Impeccable, Phoenix, which actually might be sold out. You can't buy any more update? What, just because the break's so long? You didn't know that going into it, Evan? I don't know. The reason why this is, this, is, this is valuable, though, is that, like, that alone might be, like, what, 20, 30 bucks? Just right out of the gate? Then you start getting short prints of that and variations. You start getting into the $100 range just for these cards. The value of uh, of this of the update series in particular in recent years has been pretty good. Check out like recent year stuff, and they still hold value too. So that's why everyone loves update series, in spite of the length of the break, because the secondary market value is so great. If you're a sharp breaker. There's Nate Lowe, it's Dixie's Heaven, so there you go, Evan. So for sharp collectors, this is a fantastic product. It's a sharp play. It's long, yeah, but, but there's a reason why these have been selling. People are willing to, to wait through it. that Jeff McNeil's a Pete Alonzo. Oh, I can't forget Yuri Familia to 2019 for the Mets. That'll go to Jason Reardon. Pete Alonzo saved up too. And a lot, you'll find a lot of people, Evan and everybody else, grading a lot of these ser update series baseball cards too. So later on down the line, let's say Jason Reardon, you know, gets a stack of these Pete Alonzos, gets one of them graded, one of them grades out at a Gem Mint 10 or something like that. Right? Pete Alonzo turns out to be, you know, 
15, 20 year stud for the Mets or something like that, then, then bam. You know, all of a sudden, that rookie card from back in, way back in 2019 is carrying a ton of value. There's Burt Blylevin. Commemorative medallion. Looks like a gold parallel. That's number 29 out of 50. Nice. Who's got the twins? That'll be for Michael Tran and the twins. Let's do one of these. A little palette cleanser before the next box. If I can open the pack. There we go. Kevin Biggio, Bryce Harper, John Car. I think he's in the lineup tonight. Nice Pete Alonzo. Next box. Good luck, everyone. We're almost there. <laughs> you know who loves the ladies? This guy. 2019. The next break will be after this, Jason, which should take me another 20, 30 minutes or so. Probably around 4.45ish, whatever is sold out. Has anything sold out, folks? Anyone look at the site? Has anything sold out? That, Fe that Phoenix I know is getting close. Joey Vaz, a facsimile. Evan, Joe, have you realized you've held thousands and thousands of pounds of cardstock? <laughs> yeah. You know, I haven't thought of it in terms of weight. I don't think I've ever thought of it like that. But yeah, tons, if you will. And probably millions of cards. No tops gold label. Well, if it sells out, Jason will do it. Everything. Every, there's nothing sold out after this. So, if that sells out now, that would be the next break. So, if you got the last three teams, boom, you've controlled the narrative of the next break. You have the power, folks. You have the power. Someone wants Phoenix to go first? Buy those Phoenix teams. That'll be the next break. You show that it's sold out? Well, that might be. I'll have to go through orders and see if what order that goes in. But all right, gold label's next. No, gold label says three left. You're looking at the team random, Jason Moyer. If you look on the next row past that, you'll see that Pick Your Team number three still has three teams left. Don't forget to look for those, uh, those extra helpers for certain breaks. All right, we got Cody Bellinger. Major League material going to the Dodgers. Jim Morin picked up the Dodgers. There you go, Jim.
Yeah, that's just a team random to help out the gold label, pick your team. So those two things are related. That's that's not a full case team, uh, random break. Maybe that's what you were thinking it was. It's not a random break. That's just to randomize um, a handful of teams to help fill up pick your team three. Sorry, there might have been a little confusion there. Christian Walker to 99, Carter Keyboom. Joey Gallo for the Rangers, 2019. All right, three boxes to go. Let's do one of these. So each of these are related to those boxes right there. Let's do another one. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. And this box. Good luck, everybody. Let's get comfortable here. Make Jacob deGrom was 2019. Evan hopes that Brandon Lau will be good. He had a pretty decent season, I feel like. Maybe even a solid season. He went down with an injury. I think derailed his his season a little bit. Nice Pete Alonzo, three out of fifty. I like that mid eighty mid eighty design there, Jason. I'm a fan of that. Eighty four, I think. Team Maldonado, 20 to 19. That's for Brett and the Royals. Evan wants to buy more spots, but he's got to check the old bank account. Oh, listen, man. There's no rush. We're here seven nights a week. 52 weeks a year. <laughs> Probably 30 baseball products released every year. Another 30 football products released every year. There's no rush. We'll be around. It's Kyle Berg.
What happened? Well, now what happened? Ooh, what's this redemption all about? Whoa! Whoa! One of those greatest cards, man. Whoa! That looked like a lot of text on there. Yeah, it looked like a lot of text on there. What if we had another fifty auto book? One of one. This, that's just all. That's just all we do. All we do is pull fifty autos. Yeah. Watch to the end. See what the redemption is. You won't believe the redemption Jaspie's pulled. Watch to the end of the video. And hit subscribe and the bell. Ding. I mean, you're just doing a disservice to people live. Because people on recording are just... <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. To the 49 people watching live. Let's see what we got. Behind Andrew Miller. I like update, but it's not the most, like... I got, yeah, we got, I got, bigger, I got to try to make this as exciting as possible. Yeah. <laughs> you are due to receive a 1984 Topps Ooh. Baseball Rookies What's that? and Stars Traded Autograph Anniversary What's Red Parallel. Red? We have to look up what Red's number two. 1984, I'm trying to think. Don Mattingly? Okay, oh, keyboard. 84. All I'm thinking of is Dan Marino and like the 1984. Don Mattingly's 84, isn't he? Yeah, I think Mattingly is. But I don't know if it's a... Uh, I, don't, I don't think this, this is like is the... This is rookie. Just type in 1984. Red out of 10. Red's out of 10. Maybe it's a, a current player, but just in the 1984 design. That's possible. You went through these, right? Yes. Uh, rookies and traded st rookies and traded stars. Maybe I'll just search traded. I don't know if I like the new cardboard connection. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're gonna find out what it is. Yeah. It's not one of those all-time greats, though. I, I I originally thought it was gonna be one of those all-time greats, but of. C. Carlos. Carlos. A. V. Gavin Lux. A. Oh, this is Kevin Biggio. Oh, Biggio. Kevin Biggio. So it must be in that 84 design, but you got a red parallel and autograph. All right. Nice. Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Give me two. Aaron with the Bluebirds. This guy could be a pretty big name next year. No, I, he's he's RC'd this year. Interesting. Me, uh, I'll bet it's it's Bo Bichette they'll probably do next year. And we got Rafael Devers to 199 for the Red Sox. Um, how much did the 50 auto book go for? I have no idea. That hasn't sold yet. Mr. John Harshbarger has not one sold one it yet. Sold. I think that went for 15. It just 15. shows a big cross out, 39,000. I'll just keep saying it's a $40,000 card. Someone said uh, 13, 13 or 15. Yeah, I take that. It's not bad. All right, we got Javier Baez for the Cubbies. That goes to King D, Last Bob Mojo. But yeah, so Evan, I, I have no idea what uh, what it will end up selling it for, but I'm sure he'll give us an update. Uh, Coop, yes, there could be autos in these in these packs. We've seen one in like a previous case, but we have not seen any in this case. But they are possible. I think the chase, the chase and update though, um, are the uh, are the parallels. You know, are the rookie cards and potential parallels and variations of the rookie cards and all that.
Nick Ramirez for the Tigers. Oh yeah, we just pulled a Cavan Biggio redemption. Fernando Tatis Jr. Nick did a few, a couple cases of Immaculate Basketball that were really good. Tons, loads. Any cool pulls today? Saints is like asking us, did you guys breathe today? And it's like, yeah, of course we did. That Colt Tucker is pretty cool. Cards felt different, but no, it did not. And I'll tell you what, Saints, even if we didn't pull anything cool, I'd be like, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Why would we ever say we didn't pull anything cool? Even if we really didn't. I'd just be like, oh, yeah, we totally pull it. All the cases have been hot. Got to buy in. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We would never say no. It's like my one of my favorite questions is like, "Hey, is this gonna fill the night?" I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, it'll fill the night." <laughs> like, why would I, I? Why would I ever say no? It's like, nah, probably not gonna fill the night. Don't bother buying. Yeah, we'll just come back another day. Go, go take your business else, elsewhere. Is it gonna fill tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's 30, 30 spots left, and you're, it's almost the end of your night, Joe. Oh yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna fill. Just, just keep buying. ABC always be closing, ladies and gentlemen. Always be closing. If you're not always closing, ladies and gentlemen, you're opening the door for customers to walk out of your business. I just made that up. I don't know. I'll work on that in that that phrase. I'll use it at my next uh, speaking event. Scott Alexander. Could have used a Scott Alexander in the playoffs. Where were you? He was injured. That's right, Peter. Positive break fives. The answer is always yes. The worst thing consumers can hear when they're at a retail business looking to buy something is no. Do you have this? No. Will this, can this happen? No. No one wants to hear that. That was terrible. Go to a car dealership, you get no. Do you have this car? No. Do you have this color? No. You have any good financing rates? No. All right, bye. No one wants to hear that. You want to hear yes. So. We try to say yes as much as possible. Unless someone's just like, can I have $200 of break credit? No. What have you done for us for that? Maybe if you clean our gutters. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. And then we'll go through some orders. And then we'll see what we have going on after this. Three hundred dollars of break credit. Well, in that case, Evan. Yes, we'll send we'll send that in the mail to you. We'll send it in the mail. Just just look in your your mailbox. It may take some time to process that request, though. So we appreciate your patience. <laughs> Peter says no to these update breaks. Yeah, it's a little long. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. It's obviously pretty long, but I mean, you know, you you find rookies like that and other variations and stuff like that. The 
The secondary market value is just so huge on these that that it's a uh, for for shark collectors. This is this is one of the best sort of return on investments. Really good ROI in these. The harder the squeeze, the sweeter the juice. You want these in quarters? No. Let's just tear the Band-Aid off all at once, Evan. I, wanted, I, I would rather do this the way we do it now. Just, just do knock it out once. <laughs> That way people can just be like, oh, well, Joe, I'll check back in in an hour. There's Russell Martin to 2019. If they're in quarters, then it's just like, you know, the people who don't like update will be like, what, update again? <laughs> oh, you want that break credit. Oh, you're still on the break credit thing. I've moved on from that. That joke, that, that joke has been done. It's over. It was, it was a good it was a good bit but the bit is over that's the that's one, one of the big rules of comedy Evan know when to stop it's the thing about art right when you talk to van Gogh van Gogh is like how do you know when to stop Vince Old Vinny, Vinny, how do you know when to stop painting sunflowers and starry nights? That's what makes him. A, that's what makes him a genius. That's what makes him a master. And you know what else is over? This break. <laughs> this break's almost over. Almost there. Stay on target. You think Mahomes' career is over? No. For maybe like a month. Gets to chill at home for a month. Jake Bowers. And Peter's like, next update break, you're going to start a project? Yeah, take, take, care of, uh, take care of the stuff around the house that you haven't done in ages. And like, maybe I'll clean out the, uh, maybe I'll clean out the HVAC air filter. Maybe I'll do that today. Maybe uh, maybe I'll, I'll change the oil in my car today. Maybe I'll clean out clean out that second refrigerator. Maybe I'll sell the sell that weightlifting bench I never ended up using. Let's put that on the Craigslist. Get all sorts of things done during an update break. There's Clayton Kershaw. All-star Clayton Kershaw going to Jim Morn and the Dodgers. <laughs> right, maybe I'll, Peter, you could, you can just put it, turn on update, right? To, to when we're doing update, you just put it like a little iPad or a phone next to you. Turn it on to Jaspies. You know, keep us on in the background in the garage. And you power wash the house and detail the car. A couple coats of wax and be like, and by the time you're done, we'll, by the time you're done, Peter, we'll, we'll be, We'll be probably about a box or two away from being finished. <laughs> Tops update baseball, the background noise <laughs> for, for your honeydew projects. All right, and Shed Long has the distinction of being the final card of the break. And there you have it, folks. Uh, I don't have any randomizers to do. Nothing. 12 box. Pick your team two in the books. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. That was 2019 Tops Update Series Baseball. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.